what's up guys welcome back to another video and this is the one you've been waiting for it's the peltier peltier thermoelectric how will will a peltier cool down your steam deck and today we're gonna find out for this testing we're gonna need our steam deck we're gonna need our thermal probes controller monitor our dongle, the cables for the dongle, all the cables for the dongle, more cables for the dongle, our thermal gun, our sound level meter, a power supply, last but not least, our homemade Peltier. All right, so let's take a look at the back real quick. So we took off our back plate. Now it's fully exposed. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Peltier and we're gonna plop it right here, right on this sweet spot right here. Your testing, if you were to do this on your own, will be different. Mine's completely modded. We have all the way cut back, all the way to our exhaust fan, and all the way below to where our SSD is. So if you were to do this test, maybe on the back plate, or let's say the JSOX back plate, your test will be completely different from mine. But best believe, we're gonna do this test with the JSOX back plate. We're here in the Witcher 3, ultra settings and we're gonna let this thing heat up and while it heats up let's talk a little bit about our pelty right here we have a wraith cooler and glued to it thermally glued obviously is a 12 volt 9 amps peltier max output is 85 watts on the peltier on top of that we have two copper plates for a total of 2.5 millimeters worth of thickness on top of our Peltier. Both are thermally glued together and nice and tight. And in my testing with the copper plate, we got minus five. Without the copper plate, meaning before we put it on where it was just a Peltier, we got minus seven. So we lost two degrees from adding the copper plate. But honestly, I would, I'm completely 100% happy with that because you don't want this thing to go sub zero when it's on your Steam Deck because then you will get condensation on your Steam Deck and that is not good. So powering this Peltier is gonna be a beefy 700 watt power supply. You don't need something this crazy. This is my smallest power supply, it's a SFX and it's just easy to work around and work with. We're all daisy chained with these Molex connectors. For you guys that did not know, if you're looking straight up on a Molex connector, looking at it this way, straight up don't worry about this this doesn't matter because it's not even connected um this always happens if you work with molex in the past this happens all the time these two this is these two center ones are ground this one to the far left is 5 volt the ones in the far right is 12 volt not 100 percent sure on the amp amperage on this but i'm sure it's gonna hit whatever the the device needs whether it's 9 amps 3 amps but i could be wrong so i'm sure i'm gonna hear about it in the comments um it's all connected as power supply and also the fan for the Wraith cooler is also going to be connected to the fire su power supply. It's a five volt fan all together. I think the power pull of just these two components right here without the power supply is right, right around a little bit over 90 watts. So about four times more power or three, six times more power draw than the Steam Deck, which is crazy what we're using to cool it. Um, and we have our monitor here because we're going to have to go into dock mode. But before we do that, we need some thermal pads to throw onto here. So right here, we got some two millimeter thermal pads that I've already pre-cut that will fit most of this die. Not all of it, most of it. And this one's a little janky because I used it before. Eh, about 90% of the surface area. So this should work just fine for our testing today. So we got to get this all set up dongle dongle all right all right all right yeah okay so we're in the game control is working just fine all right so we're going to use probe one as our room temp so room temp right now is around 18.5 probe two is going to go underneath our peltier so right now the current temp one thing with this testing once i throw on our peltier on here our temps are automatically going to drop but the Peltier won't be on. You'll see the fan turn on when the Peltier turns on just because of thermal capacity. This is adding about a pound's worth of thermal capacity to the Steam Deck. So our temps are going to drop considerably. But right now we're at 68, 70. And what we're going to do is I'm going to throw this bad boy on with our thermal probe. Remember, this one is the one underneath 
our Peltier. And number one is this one dangling over here, which is our room temp. Before we put our Peltier on, we're going to go ahead and stick our duct tape onto our vent right here and try to warm up the steam deck the best we freaking can so we're clogging up the vents remember do not do this at home it's not good to heat up your steam deck this quickly this is my own steam deck i do not suggest you doing this at home so we're gonna let this heat up once i see the cpu hit around 80 degrees i know we're pretty close to optimal temperatures because in my other testing with our back plates on we were on that 7981 7980 on this GPU. And wow, that heated up really quick. All right, that heated up very fast. Let's try to get it to 81 and we'll pull that off. And then we'll throw on our Peltier and see how much that drops. So we're now at 8179. Fan speed's at 4900 RPMs. And I think this is a good time to take this thing off. So room temp's still at 17.5. This thing's probably going to cool down quite a bit on its own. Once the fan speed drops, I'm going to go ahead and throw the Peltier on. Just a real quick for you guys to know what's going on in here temperature-wise. So dead center right now, 26 right here. The hotter running components are down here, which is going to be your controller, MOSFETs, VRM. And the hottest spot right, right now I see is 44. I just saw 47 right there. And that's where your MOSFET, I think that's where exactly where the CPU MOSFET is, the hottest spot right there. And remember, my heat shield has thermal pads around the APU, on the MOSFET, and around the heat pipe here. So your test is, if you're going to do this on your own, it's going to vary, very, very, very much. Notice our temperatures have dropped. We're at 69.71 now. So that means we're cooling down mainly because we have this whole back plate open up now there's no all the air is going through here no restriction whatsoever all right so it's 45 db currently with the fan speed at 3700 rpms we have 70 and 71 on the cpu actually it's 69 71 currently was i'm looking at it and i want to take one more thermal test so we're at 69 70 71 3700 rpms on our fan room temp is at 17.7 we're gonna throw our thermal probe right here sandwich right in between our two thermal pads and then we're gonna place it pretty much dead center here and what we're gonna see is our temps are gonna drop on our cpu gpu fan speed's probably gonna drop and we're gonna see this number right here a number two slot go up so fan speeds have dropped temps have dropped crazy drops in temps just because we increase thermal capacity if we were to leave this on for let's say 30 30 minutes or so it would heat right back up to close to where we were at prior probably two to three degrees lower but i'm gonna go ahead and block out this fan vent again this is not good for your steam deck to raise the temps up this quickly nor is is it to open it up <laughs> and do some funky stuff inside of it so room temp is still 17.8 it's probably going to warm up a little bit currently that hot spot's at 38.9 39 it's going to slowly heat up and once we get to that point where we were at not necessarily in fan speed but in temperature of 70 on a gpu 71 in the cpu we're going to go ahead and turn on our peltier and we're kind of right there 72 71 we're going to go ahead and unclog the fan again now it should be able to cool itself down. It's heated up pretty good. We're at 43 here. It should start cooling down a little bit because now that we have actual cooling going down, so the temperatures are gonna to start to come down and equalize. And as soon as it kind of equalizes and we don't see it fluctuate too much, then we're gonna go ahead and then turn on the Peltier. But we re I really wanted to warm it up first before we did anything. Remember, we're adding a lot more thermal capacity to the system, so it's gonna not be as warm as it was without it. Check that hot spot that we measured, 38.5. So that's considerably colder. Kind of kind of where I expect us to be, about three degrees cooler than we normally were without this Peltier on there. Now let's go ahead and flip the switch and crank this baby on. Okay, we're all plugged in, good to go. Let me. 
once this whole thing heats up, we're going to be pretty close. So if you're looking at the JSOX backplate thinking that that's going to make your Steam Deck overall cooler, it really, really isn't because we're just adding thermal capacity to it. And as you can see, we add, we're adding way more thermal capacity than the JSOX plate would. And our temperatures are climbing slowly and steadily back to where we were before, which was 70 on the CP. I mean, 70 on the GPU, 71 on the CPU. So, okay. So we're still at 69. There you go. So we'll call it here at 69, 68. Honestly, these temperatures really don't matter because so these temperatures don't really matter for for any real purpose because no one's gonna rock their steam deck like this we just want to see how much cooler this peltiero will make the steam deck in its current configuration for testing purposes none of this actually really matters because most of you are not gonna rock your steam deck like this with the back plate basically all cut out and then throw a custom made peltiero on top so it's more or less to see how well this one will do in this semi-perfect setting. So we're at 68, 69, fan speeds at 3,200 RPMs. Longer wait, it's probably gonna get closer. So we'll just take that at 70 and we'll call it 70, 69, and then we'll go there. So it's a one degree Delta. I think that's more than fair. I am not gonna wait that long. Like I said, for testing, testing purposes, it really doesn't matter because no one will rock their Steam Deck like this in this exact configuration only this is only going to be one configuration like this and it's going to be mine so let's see how much can this peltier cool down the steam deck it's at 6970 and i'm taking the highest temps at a fan speed of 3200 rpms let's flip the switch and let's go sorry for the quick video break this is your boy nas aka diy poppy just not the hands if you haven't seen my face this is what i look like the hands behind the face behind the hands or hands behind whatever quick break in the video just to let you know that i'm doing a challenge for subscribers i'm hoeing myself out for subs but the thing i'm hoeing out for is pull-ups meaning for every sub i get i'm gonna do a pull-up standards of the pull-up all strict and I'm gonna be able to do chin-ups or regular pull-ups. To keep this challenge honest, I will be uploading pull-ups I've done every week for each subscriber to my channel as a YouTube short. If you wanna see your boy just get wrecked, go ahead and hit that sub, share this video with a friend, tell them to hit the sub. This is gonna get nasty. I'm gonna really regret this, but I'm gonna do it as long as I can for y'all. Appreciate it, love ya. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, should plug in the fan. And here we go, fan is on. So we got a room temp up top, and then underneath the Peltier right here, the 40, we're gonna apply a slight bit of pressure on top of the Peltier just because it doesn't have a perfect seating on there, and I want a little bit more pressure. So as you can see, it's cooling down underneath. Temperatures as well are cooling down. Frames are at 24. Temperatures with with fan speed. So <laughs> underneath the belt here is getting a lot colder. The closer this thing gets to past room temperature, the scarier it gets because the closer you get to condensation. So right now we're at 62 on the CPU. Just just hit 61. We're below 60 on the GPU, and our fan speed has dropped to a all-time low of 2,500 RPMs pretty crazy um let's take a db meter real quick call that 51 on the db fan speed is continuing to drop so oh god look at the temperatures so we're in the 50s now on the cpu okay so if we look at the thermostat here room temp is increasing slightly and it's probably because I'm in the room. And we're probably pushing out more heat from the heatsink now as well. You gotta remember this is pushing out heat. So obviously everything's gonna start to heat up a little bit. And for example, if we take a temperature reading on here, we're at 21 degrees on top of here. So this is hotter than room temp. Because remember, this is where all the hot air is coming out and the fin sticks are at 24. So it makes sense why this general area is heating up. So if I move the probe, 
further away it should cool down the room or not oh it is cooling down there cool so where are we at 55 57 let me double check our contact and we're making great contact as good as you're gonna get you know we're directly on the heat shield the closer we get to room temp the scarier it is see so notice that when we move the thermal probe away um number one here on the top went down in temperature can we hit 40 degrees 49 can i see a 49 it's cooking it's going so remember this in testing without adding heat we got minus five in our new configuration of our peltier so i would be i don't think we're gonna get minus five for sure but i think we're gonna get at least close to like what i would assume like 14 maybe 15 but we'll give it time. Oh my God, fan speed's at 2,000. Wow, 1,900? I've never seen 19. The only time I've seen this is when the Steam Deck turns on. Wow. Oh wow, and we're getting a lot, lot clo closer to room temperature. So remember this bottom number right here. That's uh, This is room temp. This is the temp underneath the Peltier. We're getting closer and closer. I wonder how cold it would get. Once we hit that point where this number stops moving down, and starts equalizing that's when we know we've pretty much hit peak uh ability for our peltier and we we're really kind of sticking on that 54 55 range doing very very good 53 55 so look everything's looking awesome all all of these temperatures right now are completely safe to keep this peltier on this 18.5 is is more than fine it's when we get to like the low tens, it's when you want to start to worry a little bit. I mean, you know, like the 11, 12s, like I don't think condensation will grow then, but that's when you kind of want to start worrying. But right now we're doing great. Obviously, if we were con to connect this thing straight to the APU, we'd get way, way, way better temps. Maybe we'll do that test. Um, but like I said, that's a kind of stupid use case because most people wouldn't do it like that. They would run it just like how I'm running it. It's kind of a slog right now. Fan speed the same. We're peter pattering from 53, 54. What I'm looking for is that uh, our number two reading in there to just stop moving down and start kind of staying the same or slightly slowly moving up. That's when we know we kind of hit that peak capability of this peltier so right now we're at 52 53 which is nothing to nothing to poo poo this is super cool like this is running stupid cool imagine if we could overclock our steam deck god knows what we would be capable of one day maybe uh we're all able to do that right now i haven't seen anything that would allow us to increase the wattage out on this apu it's just they're not allowing us from what i know but we can adjust the fan speed that's about it and the gamma on this screen but that's about all we can do in the upload screen so oh right now we're seeing the 18.4 18.3 i think we're kind of where we're at our our best so 52 53 with a 2000 but yeah it works we got a pretty pretty good delta of 18 degrees centigrade so we've dropped 18 degrees at our lowest temp with this on our CPU, which is fucking crazy. JSOC says they're going to get minus 18 with that exhaust fan. I don't think that's going to be possible. Um, obviously, if we were to take stock configuration plus this, well, 27 degree delta from stock like this for my stock. Remember my stock. I think that's it for this video. Obviously, we knew the Peltier was going to work. The scary thing was, is it going to work so well that we develop condensation in our Steam Deck? That's a no. That's a big fat no. Um, even though this Peltier was able to get to minus 7, direct contact on the heat shield, where the heat shield is has proper contact with all our hotter running components, including our VRAM MOSFETs and our controller, this thing will not get to anywhere close to sub zero condensation is not an issue uh at these temps and i would say it's pretty safe if you wanted to do this mod but remember to do any mod that i've shown you or any mod at all at your own risk i don't think i will rock it this way just because it's a little too jank for me <laughs> i i like i said i prefer to be handheld mode i don't like to be docked and only reason I use this Steam Deck is docked 
and to make videos clearly but other than that i think i think i think this is some great findings i think this is some really really awesome findings so 5253 on the cpu fan speed 2000 rpms our decibel readings at 44 decibel which is pretty damn quiet all things considered it's damn near ambient noise especially in my little workshop here but other than that guys i know you've been waiting for this one i think it's a great big success so I want to say thank you all for watching this video. If you made it this far, if you liked it, hit the like. If you loved it, hit the subscribe. And if you want to support this channel monetarily, go ahead and go to DIYpoppy.net and go ahead and pick up a shirt. I don't know if they're going to be up there now, but we're also going to be having our compromise mod on the website where you can buy both these pieces included with a vinyl wrap this final wrap that's on my steam deck right now and you can order it and do the mod on your own but other than that my name is nas aka diy poppy i'll catch y'all on the next one